It may be day 12, but it's only part 11. Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Batman. Last time, we visited the Distant Spring for the first time, got a couple of ship parts, made some progress in opening up the spring to the rest of the battalion, and lost a couple of Pikmin to some very annoying enemies. Today we're going to be heading back to the Distant Spring, and hopefully we can fully open up those uh, alternate pathways, and hopefully, maybe, possibly, get some more ship parts. Alright, well thankfully, seeing as how a couple of the bull bears are dead, and yeah, the rest of our Pikmin are still planted in the ground over there, I think the way I want to go about today is, I want to go and get... Let's get eight yellows just for good measure. Oh, hey, uh, uh, blue was sprouted from a flower. That's nice. I want to get around, let's say, 60 reds, and the remainder of the battalion will be blues. Which only leaves 29. Yes, that said 28, but I'm also counting for the blue that is sitting over there. Alright, you guys definitely need to get some uh, more flowers in your group, so for the time being... No, I just need flowers. There we go. Let's get you guys working on this patch of rocks right here, and hopefully we can get some nectar for the rest of the team. While they're doing that, we're going to get our yellows together and we're going to head on over back to the island where the massage machine was because, well, there's still a good assortment of bomb rocks over there. And while there is actually another section that has bomb rocks, this is a really good like early section for them because you actually do get like two uh, areas that, with bomb rocks because each of these skulls actually count as like a full bomb rock dispenser. Unfortunately, it's not as good as that one back in the Force Naval, but, uh, well, beggars can't be choosers. Come on, has to be at least one more, right? No? Oh, yep, there we go. Alright, well, I don't want to deal with you right now, but thankfully you kind of hopped away from where the blue was. You guys just go over this way. And speaking of blue, let's just pluck him because why not all right first and foremost let's clear out this wall right here oops I need to learn to get it like a little closer and I think one more should do it yep there we go all right we'll save our bomb rocks for another rock wall which is a little bit later and I guess yeah let's now, let's keep this yellow safe just in case I do accidentally lose any to the bull bears up ahead. Let's get everybody together, get all my reds, get all my blues, get that good amount of nectar just sitting right over there ready for it to take in. And we actually should be able to get all of our leaves into flowers after this. Alright boys, eat up. All right, well, it wasn't all of them, but it was still a good majority of them. <sighs> this one is hands down like one of the worst bull bears to try and get the back, uh, the, the butt attack on because, well, the way he's sitting and sleeping, it's kind of hard to really position your Pikmin around him. All right, this is going to be very risky. Go, boys. Go for the bum. Go for that bum. Nice. Bum rush successful. All right. Uh, for the time being, yeah, you know what? Let's get our blues together. Let's get our blues together and let's go and open up the pathway to yet another ship part, and hopefully not get crushed by a yellow frog. Oh, come on, boys, run! Uh. I don't like the fact that he's sitting right there. Hold on, boys. Just stay right here for a second. Come on. Come on. Follow the red blinking light. Come on. A little more this way. Come on. There we go. All right. Now that the frog is successfully distracted, I found the gluon drive. Using the quirk-binding metaphysical properties of gluons, this, this device 
well, it's very scientific and I don't fully understand myself, but it was very expensive. And I have a serious case of buyer's remorse. Ah, Shearwigs. Ow, at least he munched me and not my Pikmin. Get him, get him. Ah, he got one. Of... There we go. Get down from here. Alright, enough doing the dance here, people. I need you working on this. And where's there still like an idle Pikmin? Hello? It's not the ship part. I don't see where he is. I think one of my Pikmin glitched because I don't see where he's at. Hmm. That is weird. Oh well. Nope. This way, Foggy. Come on. Let's see if I can actually maybe uh, have the Reds go after him just so he doesn't harass my blues when they get that bridge completed. Alright, come on. Yeah, yeah, flop into the air. And I was actually kind of wrong about how you're supposed to fight Wally Wogs, although might as well just swarm him at this case, keep him from hopping up in the air. One of the safest ways, I guess, you could say to attack Wally Wogs would be to actually throw Pikmin onto them, like maybe throw like five at a time, and then you just gonna stand there, not help. Just, like, throw five at a time onto them, that way, uh, while they're holding onto them, they won't get thrown off, A, and B. They can still do some damage and not have to worry about them. Oh, that's why, you jerk. You jerk. Thankfully, I think with the fact that, uh, they're, the fact they're carrying bomb rocks, he can't pick up the bomb rock Pikmin, so he's just flying there, uh, weighing his options of, do I want to attack this, or no? They look very plantable, but at the same time, do I really want to piss them off that much? Uh-oh. Better run. Better run! I hate the fact that he just quacks. Oh, he can't, actually can pick up the bomb rock. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Please tell me it's not going to kill my bomb rock Pikmin. Yep. How did you survive that explosion? I'm not angry or anything. I'm actually kind of impressed. <sighs> Alright, fine. You guys carry these back. Uh... One of my Pikmin is still in his bomb rock. I think that's the one that survived the explosion. He, he's holding his arms out like he's still holding the bomb rock. I wonder if the game still treats it like he's actually holding the bomb rock because, hmm. That sounds like one of the bridges is done. Come on guys, pick up the pace. We got bombs. Lots and lots of bombs. And we got a door to break down. Is there one? You guys work on carrying the Wally Wog back. Yep. He act, does he actually act like he still has a bomb rock on him? Okay, hold on. I need to experiment with this for a second. Oh, nope. Now he's back to normal. I think uh, his brain was like. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, I'm not carrying anything. All right, everybody, let's get all get together. 
Let's go get this glue on dry. Let's make sure that we don't uh, drown ourselves in the water. And we're only... Okay, so a couple reds, a couple blues, a lot, a lot more reds and blues than I thought. Oh, this poor guy. Is he stuck in... Okay, no, he's not. Thank God. All right. This is easily going to make its way back to camp without any issues. We got 11 with us right now, so let's go and carry this bull bear back. Oh, don't be discouraged. There we go. All right, so that's the first ship part checked off, and I guess seeing as how we are almost actually done with the day, the closest ship part we could probably go get is the one out in the middle of the water. All right. No, actually, no. Keep every keep everybody out until that bull bear gets sucked up. Then we'll swap out the reds and the yellows for the blues. Ah, finally taking some shape. I love it. I have no idea how this works, but it means the dolphin will again lift off with its characteristic roar. I've never covered 22 out of 30 parts, just 7 more to go. Actually, something I never noticed is the fact that the Sagittarius and the Libra, they kind of act like the dolphin's eyes. It only took me until now to realize that. Ah, uh, get up. Well, at least you're not a flower, but still. Alright. Is everybody back in their onions? That looks to be the case. So let's get our remainder of their Pikmin just to be blues. There we go. Got an army of 100 blues. 100 mostly leaf blues. I probably should have saved that nectar for these guys. Alright. Well, it just means I have to babysit them, and that's fine by me. Our way forward is out in the water, folks. So I hope you brought your floaties, and I hope you're ready to deal with these things. These enemies, I am not a fan of just because of the... Uh, just because of what they remind me of. These are water dumples. Oddly enough, they are... Actually, the same species as bull borbs and bull bears. They're just aquatic versions of them. And the reason I hate them is more so just what they remind me of. They remind me of the leeches from the Peter Jackson's King Kong movie, which has like one of the most disturbing scenes I've ever seen in a movie, period. And I just hate them by design standpoints. Also, the fact that they bark, and the fact that they ate two of my Pikmin. On. Oh, jerk. There we go. Alright, guys, come on. Enough toying around in the water, enough splashing around. It's time to enact your revenge on this puffy blowhog. Guys! There's more important things to take care of than just carrying back the corpse of whatever the hell those things are supposed to be. I think they are supposed to be like a leech type enemy. There we go. Glowhog defeated. It goes flying off like a balloon. And with that, I almost got crushed to death by, by my interstellar radio. Not only does it emit a constant SOS signal, it also broadcasts voices from space that will brighten up my moments of boredom. The dolphin, while comfortable, becomes quite lonely, quite a lonely place in the depths of night. All right, all hands on deck. Let's get this part back to the ship so that way we can say that we have gotten more than one part today and made some pretty significant progress through here. And we're actually going to be racing against the clock with this one. So the remainder of the blues, you guys just start carrying all these guys back and that way we can just start upping your numbers after getting like four of you munched. Alright, got a nice little convoy going that way. Let's get you guys over here. And we'll snag the other two water dumples and their... Uh, pellets that they dropped. Ooh, you guys better dub double time it because... Uh, I'm just gonna avoid that and give that the whitest berth in the world. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. Ugh. Uh, Wallywogs. All right. Yeah. You know what? You focus on me. Ignore the Pikmin. Oh my God. We lost so many to just two frogs. I think we lost like over thirty Pikmin. Uh oh. Nine. Okay. Uh, where's everybody? Oh god, we have lost so many Pikmin behind. No! What are you doing, you idiot? Get away from this right now, you fool. Uh oh, I think we're gonna be losing a lot more blues pretty soon. Alright, where is everybody? All the way over there. Alright, you guys got that back. It looks like uh, the blues on that side have brought the. They just dispense the seed during the cutscene. This part will send out a daily SOS signal. I have so little time remaining, though. I have no option but to continue my search rather than wait for a rescue party. Having to collect the, every part is a bit overwhelming, but I get the impression not all parts are needed to fly the ship. Alright, let's see if we can actually save these guys. Oh my god, oh, they're getting stuck. No! It was too late. Well, so much for only going through with this with only one Pikmin getting left behind. We are going to be losing so many Pikmin. Oh, what a travesty tonight has been. This is what happens when you get greedy, folks. Never get greedy. Especially when you're on an uninhabited planet surrounded by things that want to kill you. Oh, God. This is the worst out of all of them. Hands down. Just... Ugh. It's just a nightmare. You just see these things starting to surround you and just all of a sudden they pounce on you at once. Twelve days since impact. The Pikmin I did not bring back to the Onion all vanished overnight. It may as well be that they have fallen prey to the plant's nocturnal creatures. An ugly thought. Perhaps that's why they follow me into the atmosphere. I am starting to grasp the cycles of life on this planet. <laughs> 23 Pikmin lost. Actually, no. 53 Pikmin lost because we lost 30 in battle from the water dumples and getting crushed by the Wallywogs. And then uh, uh, we lost the 23 to getting left behind. Oh, the Blues have suffered greatly tonight. Just good, 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 average nosedive. I think this is actually the most Pikmin we've lost in a single day. But we did get two ship parts, so their deaths weren't for nothing. <sighs> Guess one of these later days is definitely going to be a blue raisin day because, oh boy, the blues have surely suffered. Alright, next time on Pikmin, we'll return back to the distant spring to continue our search for the last set of ship parts and also hopefully up our blue numbers. See you guys next time. Later.